Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel Duff Fan TV. Back at another video of the content. This video, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, comment your thoughts down below. And look, man, I'm like 50 subscribers away from that 1,000. Thanks for everybody who has been subscribing lately. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Look, uh, so I talked the video, Ravens, all this drama continues, because you know some things happened yesterday. Um, I think three things happened yesterday I want to talk about kind of briefly, and then, you know, we'll, we'll just get right into it, all right? The first thing is something football related. So the Ravens re-sign Brent Urban and Daryl Worley. I think it's solid. I think Brent Urban is a good uh, rotational piece on the defensive line. No problems with that. So I, that's a good move. And Daryl Worley is a move where uh, I don't think Ravens fans should be too surprised by that. He's been a good special teams player, right? I know special teams, whatever. But it's still an important phase of the game. I asked the Eagles about how Kadarius Tony reverse field on him. You know what I mean? Special teams is a very, very important part of the game, okay? Um, also, at the end of the season, he flashed some stuff at corner, man. Like, you know, when they played the Bengals, obviously ain't nobody shutting down Jamar Chase. But I thought he had a really good game versus Jamar Chase. He did. He made some plays on the football, and um, he matched up. He matched up decently. He, you know, in all honesty, he really did. So, uh, and in that game where the Ravens didn't play many guys, he was one of the better Ravens out there. All right. Um, now that's that. That's that's out the way. So, two solid signings for the Ravens. You know, good news on that. All right. Second thing is, as y'all probably already seen and heard or whatever, Patrick Cream removed removed all Raven stuff from his social media, right? So it's just uh went to his Instagram, it's just three Instagram posts, and I think on his bio it just says forever LSU, right? With that, that, that hashtag, okay. Um big deal, no big deal. To me, uh no no big deal, to be quite honest with you. Um this is the same tactic that Marquise Brown used, that Colin Murray used. Um, I don't know if Patrick Queen has the same age as those guys, but players are going to use their social media as a bargaining chip. I mean, it just is, you know, and when, when he puts the Raven, has the Ravens picture on there, he's advertising for the NFL. He's advertising for the Baltimore Ravens, right? Um, so he took all that stuff off. Uh, and honestly, it makes sense, right? Now, I talked about with, with, with Marquise Brown. Marquise Brown did it. Obviously, he was getting traded. Colin Murray did it, and he got a new contract from the Cardinals. So either outcome could happen. Now, my, my stance and my view on this is, Patrick Quinn is coming into, no, just ended his third season, excuse me, going into his fourth year. And with him being a first round pick, the Ravens have an option of whether or not to pick up his fifth year. Um, to me, this is the this is his bargaining chip. This is his way of telling the Ravens, pick up my option, or you know, maybe we look at other options. You know? Um It is what it is, honestly. Um, is it that big of a deal to me? No. Uh, do I think Patrick Quinn's gonna hold out? Not really. Um, but it's the off season. A lot of interesting things happen in the off season, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what go from there. In my opinion, I think the Ravens probably will like to pick up Patrick Queen's fifth year option, get his fourth and fifth season out of him, and then you know he can go somewhere else and, 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 and you know and make his bag if he continues to play that high level. That's my opinion on the situation. Um, we'll see where it goes from there with Patrick Queen. We'll see if that maybe he just was rebranding his page and he puts the Ravens stuff back on. But as the time when I'm recording this video. There's nothing uh, Ravens related on his social media account. All right, um, he's on his. He was on his uh, Twitter saying, you know, people just chill, whatever. So I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Players have the right to do whatever they need to do in the negotiations, and if he feels like this is a part of his negotiation tactic, if all advice from his agent, manager, whoever, yeah, it's all fair game to me. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing really too wrong with that. Um, this season, he ascended to another level. Uh, I would say after week five, no, not after week five, but during that week five game versus the Bengals, from that point on, he took his game to another level, and he was one of the best players on the defense. Um, and then when Wokwan got here, he got even better. So, well, I like the Ravens to keep Patrick Queen for another two years. I would, you know, um, am I a fan of paying two inside linebackers big time money? I'm not. So, the fact that the Ravens paid uh, Roquan Smith to me. Means this is going to be either Patrick Queen's last year as a Raven or maybe last two years as a Raven. They they get him here for that, keep him here for that fifth year. That's my opinion on it. All right, now the last one I want to talk about is Lamar Jackson. Okay, um, and I want to tell fans this: stop riding the media roller coaster surrounding Lamar Jackson. He ain't saying nothing. The team ain't saying nothing. The media is literally repeating the same stories over and over again with a new caveat that ain't even really new. So let's talk about it. There was the, he was given no assurance. The uh, OCs were given no assurances that Lamar Jackson would be their quarterback. Well, duh, Lamar Jackson's not under contract. I can't give you an assurance of a player who doesn't even play for the team right now. 
That's common sense. Well, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are they supposed to say to that? If they tell, if they tell a guy 100% Lamar Jackson is going to be here, he's he's definitely going to be here for sure, right? Then he's not. Now with that officer corner, you always thought on the wrong foot. You you lied to him right off the bat. And it's officer corner. Of course, they want to know. And the Ravens were honest with him, right? Um. Secondly, if they say no, he's gone, whatever. Well, the, the interview proof is going, is going to shrink. So they kept it honest with him. Hey, we don't know what the offensive holds. We want Lamar Jackson to be here, but we can't tell you yes or no whether definitively whether or not he's going to be here. That's the honest truth, bro. That's the honest truth. The franchise tag windows open this shortly, and you know we'll see what happens with that. But as of right now, nobody knows. Only the Ravens and Lamar Jackson knows. And listen, I listened to Rap Sheet, you know, Ian Rappaport. Well, I think it's a good report. He has pretty good information most of the time. Doesn't really um, clickbait and lead people astray like that. He had the story. He was on Pat McAfee's show, as he usually goes on, talking about he kind of talked himself in circles, honestly. Well, they might sign this. They might trade him here. But I'm not quite sure if this is going to happen. It's a possibility he may be traded. Nobody knows. And this is an NFL insider who's supposed to be tapped into all the scenarios, everything that's going on. I watched him. I think it was maybe like it was two, two and a half minute clips. So five minutes. I watched him for five minutes talking a circle about what may or may not happen with Lamar Jackson. Nobody knows. Only people that know Lamar Jackson, John Harbaugh, Eric DaCosta, Steve Bashotti. Until we hear one of them say something that's brand new information, we don't know. We don't know. Last thing we heard from them, right? John Harbaugh said, uh, Lamar Jackson's not quarterback 200%. Whatever. You can take anything that John Harbaugh says with a grain of salt. I know I do. But, um, hey, he said that, okay? Um, and even, like I say, even in that report where there was no assurances given to the OCs, they said, yeah, we want Lamar Jackson to be here, but we don't know what the offseason holds. So even that was in the report. All right. So, Ravens fans, don't live and die with every piece of, of media news that comes up about Lamar Jackson because these guys don't know. They don't know. They're guessing. Ravens haven't really been leaking information too much. They had they, they have done that during the season. They did leak some information. Hey, they did that, you know. But in Lamar Jackson's side, he's managed by um, you know, his mother. She takes care of that. And obviously they probably have financial advisors as, as too. You know what I mean? So they're not leaking information. So the media is doing what the media does. Lamar Jackson is the biggest free agent, quote unquote, uh, or trade candidate, however you want to uh, uh, categorize it this offseason. He's the guy. So they gotta find stories and and make ways to get that to get their clicks off, bro. It's all a game. That's all it is, bro. So when there's a new Lamar Jackson story, don't get sucked up into it. It's the real. It's literally the same story being repeated over and over. When they said the Ravens and Lamar Jackson were hundred million dollars apart, okay, it was kind of. Obvious knowledge. Lamar Jackson has quote unquote has been, you know, he was two hundred and thirty million dollars fully guaranteed, which is something that also the media said that hasn't been confirmed. The media has said it so much that we're taking it now as confirmation. This is one hundred percent accurate. When that ain't the truth, we don't know. But anyway, they said that if the Ravens offered one hundred thirty-three at signing, which would have been the most in the NFL at that time, that's obvious information that they're hundred million dollars apart. If that's one thirty-three is two thirty, there's no new information. All right. We don't know what's going to happen to Lamar Jackson until we know. And that's simple as that. So uh, that's my thoughts on the Ravens' offensive drama. Um, you know, they signed two veterans. Patrick Queen removes everything from his Instagram page. We'll see if that means anything. And uh, Lamar Jackson, Ravens fans, get off of the media carousel, the roller coaster. They're taking you for a ride. Get off the ride, please. Uh, for your own sanity, you know, have a great day. Uh, hey, listen, like I said in the beginning, man, I'm 50 subscribers away from the hitting that 1,000. If y'all like this video, like the content of this video, like this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. And until next time, it's your boy Gary with another Fan TV. I'm out.